I just had dinner and gotten in my car. I don't remember whether or not I turned on the ignition, but the next thing I saw were these little flames. They were only about two or three inches high. They were coming out of the defrost vents. I never heard any noise. I just saw the flames reflected against the windshield. Now remember, I asked myself, why is my car on fire? And the flames started getting bigger. There must have been a strong enough jolt to throw me against the steering wheel because it hurt my ribs. But I, I don't remember any of that. All I thought was that my car was having some kind of mechanical problem. I didn't panic. I knew I had to get out of the car. I had to get away from the flames. Call the garage. So I reached for the door handle. I almost torched my arm. There were flames shooting up between the seat and the door. Now I knew I had to get out of the car. I'd never see my kids again. This time I used my right hand to grab the door handle. I threw my shoulder against the door at the same time. It worked. I fell onto the ground. There were flames all around me. Some of my clothes were on fire. I was burning. I rolled around the ground till the flames were out. Two men helped me to my feet and got me about 20 or 30 feet from the car. They told me to get down. I didn't want to. I kept saying I was all right. They insisted I get down. And when I did, it was as though the atom bomb had gone off. I saw my car jump about two feet into the air, and then flames shot up to the roof about two stories high. That's when I realized for the first time it hadn't been an accident. That's when I knew somebody put a bomb in my car.